Hey guys, I'm here with you today for a Owl Crate unboxing. This is the second Owl Crate I've purchased. I don't normally buy them because they're kind of expensive and I don't normally like to spend a lot of money if I'm not sure what book I'm going to be getting. Since I love my first Owl Crate so much, I decided to use my birthday as an excuse to buy myself another one. This month's Owl Crate theme was epic, which means everything in this box is going to be fantasy inspired. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy. I have already cut the little seam, but I have not opened it up yet. This goes into detail about what all is in the box, and I'm not really going to look at it right now because I want to be surprised. So once again, we have this stuff that I really don't like because I made a mess with it last time. Okay, the first thing I picked out of the box is a sticker from A Darker Shade of Magic that says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. Words to live by. That's cool. I don't think I'll ever stick it on anything. I'll probably just leave it on this. Next is a Harry Potter vinyl figure. I guess it's like a little Funko. It's a mystery. Let's open it and see which one I got. Okay. Oh. How, how do you open these things? Huh? Am I doing something wrong? Ah, okay. Okay. No? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. That was harder than it should have been. Let's see what my mystery figure is. What? Got worm tail in mouse form. It's even missing a toe. Ah. Oh. Okay. I I kind of like it. That's cute. And I'm actually very glad that I didn't get any of the um actual people figurines because those kind of look creepy to me. I don't really like the way they look, but this is so cute. I love it. You can sit right here. Okay, and the next thing is a Lord of the Rings book pen made by Jane Mount. You can see that. I've never really used book pens, but I've actually collected quite a bit of them, so I may just decorate my um, satchel and just book pins one day. Okay, next is a Game of Thrones set of four coasters. Oh, that's interesting. I have not read or watched Game of Thrones. I plan to watch Game of Thrones this summer when I actually have time to marathon the whole season. Whole series, not season. <laughs> so I do plan on watching it. I just haven't had the time yet. So let's open these up and see what they look like. They come in this nice box too. I love this box. Okay, so we have Fire and Blood, Winter is Coming Stark, Hear Me Roar Langchester, and Ours is the Fury. So, and these are really nice made coasters. I don't really use coasters, but I think I will start using them. And these are made by Dark Horse Comics. Next is, uh, Oh, it's a um, Chronicles of Narnia uh, Christmas card My by Susan Deuce. That is cute. I'm not giving this to anyone. That kind of sounded mean. Let's move on to the book, which is what we're all here for. And the book I got was Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. I don't think I said that right, but I tried. With the book, we get a little note from Audrey about her book, which I will read later. And we get a bookmark with her book and Veronica Roth's Carve the Mark on it. You also normally get a signed book plate to put in your book when you get an Owl Crate box, but there's not one in my box. So I'm not sure if they just didn't give it out with this book or if maybe my box was just missing it. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Since I don't know anything about this book, I'm just going to read the little summary they give you on the card. Princess Daniela has been betrothed to the prince of a neighboring kingdom since she was a child, and the time has finally come for the alliance to take place. Dana is thrown into her new life, having to learn to navigate through hidden politics, a growing uprising, and finding her place in the castle, 
all while trying to hide her own powers. Things get even more complicated when she finds herself beginning to fall in love with the prince's sister. Not sure how to say the sister's name. Mayor, maybe? Not sure. And that's pretty much all it says. And last but not least, the theme for next month's box is Classic Remix. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!